Hi guys, it's welcome to, back to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. In today's video, we are going to get to look at another video. And today's video, we are going to talk about some of the unskilled jobs that can make you come or can make you come to these Gulf countries or can make you come to Qatar specifically when you look at this one right now. That you do not need to have a lot of skills to come, but it would act as a startup for you to, to fulfill whatever you have to fulfill. Remember, it's all about coming in the country. I keep on telling people, it's not about what you're going to do at the start, but it's all about having the opportunity and having that visa for you to come in the country. The rest of the things that you can hustle out within the country, or you can still be in the country and chase out your dream in one way or the other. Remember, when we are talking about that, most of the time, the opportunities are more when you are inside the country or you're inside in Qatar or in these Gulf countries other than you chasing the opportunities when you are outside the country. That is a very different, these two things are totally different. So it does not mind, it does not matter how you start but how you go or how fast you have to achieve that in one way or the other. So most of the time I keep on advising people, don't mind about what you get from the start. Yes, the start may not be easy, but when you get in the country, there are a lot of a lot of chances or a lot of opportunities that are put on plate for you to choose from what you want. You can still also still upgrade. I've seen people that come here; they still upgrade, they certify their papers, they they are able even are able to change to to new professions or go to wherever they have to go. You know, all that one takes a little bit step and step and time at this time. In today's video, we are going to look at those unskilled jobs uh, that you do not need a lot of requirements. You do not need a lot of academic documents for you, you can start with. Such that if an opportunity is out there and you have it, have it come start from there as you try to focus yourself or you try to build yourself in another level one of them is what we call the cleaners job or what you call the cleaning jobs remember when we are talking about cleaning jobs we shall look at uh, people working as housekeepers people working in hospitality there are a lot of uh, recruitment agencies or we, we talk about cleaning opportunities around in the gulf countries even in qatar itself a lot of recruitment uh, companies are looking for cleaners every single day and there are a lot of cleaning companies the lot of cleaning companies in both hospitality and other projects in the mosques in the malls all those are cleaning uh, department all those are cleaning locations that need cleaner every single moment of day so if you go to that manpower or that recruitment or labor recruitment office and you think there is what you call a look, uh, cleaning job take it on it's all about having the visa in your passport you have the visa you come in the country you work you finish up your contract then you can look for something that is a little bit better you know when you look at qatar still you can change once you get an opportunity and you finish up your contract uh, depending on what contract you have with that company you can change and move to another new job all what they need in the gulf countries what is so surprising in the gulf countries it's not about the papers that you have it's about they're looking for experience. Someone you go to an inter interviewer, he will ask you, do you have an experience in the Gulf? So if you definitely have an experience in the Gulf, then you are going to go to another job and you're good to get another new opportunity in one way. So if there's an opportunity for cleaning, please take up, take up the opportunity and come and do the work. Then we look at another one is security, the security jobs. Likewise, when you talk about in these Gulf countries, like when you talk about countries like Kuwait, where they have a lot of requirements, they need for security jobs. We talk about the uh, security companies in Abu Dhabi or what you call in the UAE. When you talk about Abu Dhabi and Dubai, where they need to have uh, security licenses for them to 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 maneuver to do or academic documents. Like uh, like in Qatar, they're not so yes so much strict with what you call uh, requirements for security or requirements of some of these kind of jobs. So, so when I'm talking about definitely this one, I'm talking about the opportunities that we have at class, the opportunities that we can start from. If there's any security uh, advertise, uh, advertisement or recruiting companies in your car in your country that are recruiting for security companies, yes, take up the opportunity. Later, let let that be.
maybe as the startup you come you get the visa then you finish up your contract then probably you can look for something that you think you wanted to do in your career in one way or the other although sometimes to some to some uh, uh, some recruitment or some recruitment company they may say we need a minimum of this but definitely you definitely know that one you can afford you can get it or even if it's a paper they're not going to verify it you can still get that paper away from whatever you have to get if it's um, an O level in any standard academic document which does not require a diploma or degree, you can still come in and do that job in one way or the other. Then something that we, we talk about is uh, another job is what you call the helper job. Uh, we call helper job or what you call the handler. These helper jobs, most of the time, we see them, we see people in, uh, let's say, uh, helpers. When we talk about helpers, for example, in some buildings, people are uh, carrying, people are helping in assembling, uh, in some um, uh, furniture store, people are help assembling. They do not they do not need a lot of requirements. They do not requirements. The only requirement you need is your passport and, and your mind and you're willing to come and take up the jobs. And remember, some of the times I keep on telling people when you go to this interview for this kind of particular jobs, you don't need you don't need to tell the interviewer that you've never done this job. No, tell the interviewer you've done this job. Uh, for example, if they ask you, uh, have you ever been have you ever been a security guard or have you be, ever been a, a the helper in some way or the other. Yes, you say I've been made a helper. Being a helper for experience, maybe you, you're helping in some functions, you're volunteering to, to, to some functioning uh, functions in your country or in some conferences, then that is experience enough for you to get your job. And how definitely, uh, very important how you present yourself as you're getting this in front of these people interviewing you. It's also very important. Some of you, you've gotten to miss out because you miss, miss present yourself, you present yourself in a less lazy way that even the person is going to record to you does not have the trust in you in one way or the other. So some, those are some of the things that you should definitely take into mind as we try to look at some of, of these things in any way or the other. Then we look at uh, things like uh, landscaping, we look at gardeners, definitely you don't need a lot of uh, documents, you don't need a lot of requirements for you to come as a gardener. So I keep on telling you it's all about coming to start, you start the rest of things will follow themselves in one way or the other and you will find yourself getting a job or starting as you try to figure out what will be your next step after finishing up whatever you start with. Then we have another one it's called the nannies. The nannies definitely we look at the nannies, uh, domestic workers uh, definitely. Much as the some kind of requirements where you need to take the medical test, you need to do this for you to prove that you are, you are fit enough to work in that role but that is not all about with the academics so definitely when they will ask a lot of just in the interview question they would ask you a few questions about uh, uh, have you ever been a nanny do you know how to deal with kids so you definitely say yes or no you you definitely have to tell them i know how to deal with kids i've been helping kids or i've been doing this so only those simple simple things you know what is so funny is that some of these things that google or what you call this uh, uh, blah, you just go to the Google, search the interview questions for that role, and you'll get the, the, the basic answers and what particular question they may be asking that, uh, regarding to that role, and you definitely have to pass it and go in one way or the other. Then we look at, uh, uh, we talked about landscaping, that is gardening. It's also another role that you can still get up. Then we look at another one, it's called driver, uh, drivers. Yes, it's also a very good role and very good role in uh, here. Yeah, yes, much of um, uh, much as, as it at one moment of time, you need to have a license or you may have to, to test it or know how to drive or you know some bit of technicalities, but still you do not require a lot of document. The only document that you need is to prove yourself you can do or you have a license. And where the, the opportunity comes in is for people that have ever worked in other GCC countries and you have a driving license for that country, you'll definitely be. Uh, you'll be uh, you'll be looked at uh, given the opportunity very fast other than but still it does not mean that other people also are not given opportunities as a driver if you are coming from another country you can be given another opportunity you just have to go to the driving test you know uh, most of these vehicles are automatic vehicles and you definitely know how to drive they will they will ask you a lot of questions and if you are recruited as a driver you have a driving license from your country and your visa is a driver you are recruited as a driver that company will take you to for lessons and to 
take you to the driving school they will, they will they will test you out at the date of it all they will give you what to call a driving license so normally it comes in that kind of level which definitely get to get out in one way or the other so these are some of the jobs you can try out uh, try out in case these uh, recruitment manpower agencies out there that are recruiting you can try to them try them out such that you can maneuver and see how you can get that visa to get into the country. The rest of the things you get into the country, you can work them out and you can plan them out. Hope I've tried to share out something for you. Uh, put a comment in the comment section and tell me what I've not talked about. I'll talk about it and I'll try to share. I'll also want to share with you and uh, I was telling most of the guys, most of the opportunities I normally get, the opportunities are within Qatar. Someone will say, I need people who are living in Qatar right now. And definitely, yeah, I find so hard. So, but I, I keep on reminding you that whenever I get, uh, if I get to access an opportunity that is requiring people who are outside Qatar, definitely I'll post it out and I'll give you that opportunity. I'll let you know that opportunity, trust me, such that you can also come and start. But most of the opportunities I have here, they're called walk-in interviews within the country. So meaning that people out of the country may not be eligible right now because of the visas that are not coming out as expected. Hope I've tried to share something for you. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. Remember, it's mixed from the next creation.